So explain what you mean here. So you're taking, you're, you're making a video with your phone or something like explain the logistics behind this. So what I'm going to do is I've I'm heard vision in, book. I've heard vision board. You're saying yep. movie. Yep. Vision movie. You can call it whatever. I just okay. call it dream video. And so you can take uh, iMovie, okay, if you want iMovie, and just you can put pictures if you want, just like the pictures that you were going to put in the dream board, put the pictures in the video, and then write the intentions with the text inside iMovie, which is pretty easy to do. And then you put the text, right? I am, or, you know, or our organization is recruiting 600 people a month. That, that could be an intention, right? Um, our, uh, you know, I am living in my dream home in Hawaii or my vacation home on Maui uh, in, in the city of whatever. And so, and then, it, and then I, I put a little music behind, you know, the, all the words and the pictures. So it's four minutes long. So before I go to bed, I watch it. When I wake up in the morning, I watch it. I've been doing it for years and years. The first, but just real quick, though, one of the first things I ever did, though, is I wrote down goals for a lifetime. And when I was in junior high school, I remember this guy came. He was like one of the, the guest speakers at one mm -hmm. of our assemblies. And this guy came in and he's like, you, get, you have to make 100 goals for your life. And basically what he was doing is he was living out all of his goals of his life. And he was just checking them off, checking them off. Checking. And that was like kind of his story about his life and all the great adventures that he had and all the great stories and all the you know trips and vacations and things. And so I did that. That was one of the first things I did. I wrote out actually 150 things that I wanted to accomplish in my life. And I still have that sheet today. I add to it all the time. It's in my iPad now. How many, how many and, of those have you knocked out so far? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know exactly, but I would imagine there's probably at least 250 to 300 items now. And I've probably knocked out 150 of them. I mean, I would, that's I would, awesome. you know, pretty. It's really cool that you've like kept them. them and everything. Like, yeah, that, that's really, really neat. Yeah, yeah, and I just highlight them. You know, just right there inside of my notability, I just highlight it every time I check something off, and 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 that's why you know my life really. I mean, I I want to make a lot of money, and I want to be successful, and I want to help a lot of people, but I also want to create a lot of adventures. You know, my life is is about creating memories and experiences versus just buying three ferraris you know so right right i i love it i think that's that's really cool so do you do you upgrade the movie like every once in a while i know you got the list you add to that list do you alter yeah. the movie like because i i know my experience was when i was you know going going into foreclosure from getting beat up in real estate you know, I created a vision book because I I forget, uh, I had a lady, Amanda, suggest it to me. So I made this vision book. And then I look, I remember looking at it. I lost it for a little bit, then I found it. And like three years later, I'm flipping through some of the pictures and I, I had like been to these places. And right. and so right. like, I'm like, oh man, I got to upgrade it. And so I've, I've like upgraded it over the years. Do you upgrade the movie too? I try to hit the video at least once a year and kind of okay. update, you know, different items or different things that, that I want cool. to accomplish or, you know, and take out the things maybe we've already done, you know. Cool. And and just to just to help people, and then this is just my, my two cents. Um, so if you want, like, if you want to tap into manifesting, there's what I've discovered, there's three things, regardless of your past or background, anything, where you are, anything vision right having a picture or a movie of what it is that you want emotion right emotion if your emotion is oh that never happened for me then ain't gonna happen and then number three inspired action so there 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 have been times where i've come out of meditation with with a an intention and my phone rings and it's like oh wow this is like the exact person i was hoping would call or this person is offering the thing I need to get that thing. Don't always remember number three. I think a lot of people, they get number one. They do the vision, right? They're not so sure about emotion and they don't do inspired action. <laughs> and so you can't, you can't just do the one. You got to do two, three. 
Yeah, yeah and, and what, one of the reasons why I, why I have the music playing is because I feel like music creates yeah. emotion. Yeah, you know, it's that's why sometimes we hear a song, right? Yeah, we hear a song and we can cry watching yeah. a song or, or, or a video or a movie. Yeah. We cry, right? Because it's emotional. So yes, you're 100% right. Yeah. The emotion has and then of course, you know, it's, it's the inspired action that uh, that ultimately is going to get you to where you want to go because we can dream big all day long. But if we don't do it now, uh, it's really worthless. Right. Talk to me about this book. You got an upcoming book or is it out yet? No, it, it's it's up. It's in the works right now. Works. Um, okay. It's been something I've been working on for, for quite some time now. And, and uh, I'm, I'm just perfecting it. Uh, it probably won't be out until next year. But um, right. really, Wealth on the Beach was an inspired concept uh, based on just people's wish to one day be able to be on the beach, you know, and to yeah. have wealth and to have some freedom and choices and options. But it's really not about the beach. I mean, people think I live on the beach. I actually don't live on the beach. I live about an hour from the beach. And, uh, and, and, but the truth is it, it's really about what do you want? Don't do you to want to be on the beach? Do you want to be in the mountains? Do you want to be in the desert? Do you want to be in the, it doesn't really matter. It's just a concept that, that, you know, when you decide to figure out what you want, take some inspired action. But the truth is it, it also comes down to creating massive, passive residual income. Because the you know I mean let's 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 be honest here right you go to a job and you're making fifty thousand dollars a year I mean it's going to be really difficult to have a lot of freedom when you're in that predicament uh, I don't even care if you're making one hundred and fifty thousand two hundred thousand dollars it's very difficult and, and look and I get it you know some people they say let's clip more coupons let's save more money here let's you know eat less here let's do you know and, and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that but. I just, I, I figured, look, if I could recruit and train and develop a lot of really, really successful people and help them kind of, I mean, like I, I got a guy right now that I make probably $300,000 a year off of his one business, you know, just his business. Nice. And, uh, and I haven't talked to him in probably five years. Okay. And so the point is this, is not about whether I talk to him or not. I mean, he's a great leader. He's, you know, do, doing his own thing. I mean, I have another guy that kind of same situation that uh, haven't talked to in about three years, only because they are their own entities now. They're yeah. their own businesses now. I mean, they're, they're not, doing they're not their, asking you for help and you're ignoring them. You're just. No, 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 no. no. Thing. Yeah. If they ever called me, I would answer the phone call in a second. <laughs> But but this is what's awesome is that that's a, I mean just call it a half a million dollars a year off of two individuals, yeah. and I have zero responsibility. And, and really, for ninety eight percent of my business, I have zero responsibility. Um, I have uh, forty eight locations and uh, about fifteen hundred licensed agents, and. Uh, and they are, uh, you know, they're all independent contractors. They're all independent people. They do their own thing. They don't really, you know, my my input is very little in comparison to the, the production that comes in. So the point is this, is that there's got to be a process. So really the book has a lot to do with creating processes and understanding the uh, what I call the process or the Alonzo process. And it's just about, um, you know, making sure that we have duplication in our businesses, because it's great if you recruit somebody, but if you can't duplicate that person into becoming an independent person or, or just call it independent leader, I mean, my, my tagline for 20 plus years was, you know, is building leaders. I am here to build leaders. I'm not build. I'm not here to build a bunch of followers that just are like, they need me. If you need me, I've done it wrong, right? I've done this thing wrong. If you need me every day to hold your hand and walk you through everything, well well do said. everything for you, you know, I've done the whole thing wrong. And if you need me to inspire you every week or every day, I've, I'm doing something wrong. And so I that is, 
kind of what what uh, a little gist of, of what it's about. 